my dear students in this video we will understand how to find the gcd of two numbers using recursion gcd means greatest common divisor gcd is also called as hcf highest common factor gcd of two numbers is the biggest number that divides each of those two numbers each of them exactly without any remainder example 1 GCD of 10 and 15 is 5 because 5 is the biggest number that divides 10 and 15 without any reminder. Example 2 GCD of 40 and 70 is 10 because 10 is the biggest number that divides 40 and 70 without any reminder. Now Euclid defined the following to find the GCD. This is also called as Euclid's rule or Euclid's formula. Yes, what he defined? GCD of m comma n is equal to if n is 0 see GCD of m comma n in that if n is 0 m is the GCD so whenever the second parameter is 0 the first parameter is the GCD first one suppose if n is greater than m meaning second parameter n if it is greater than the first parameter m you exchange n and m make GCD of n comma m Meaning, this rule automatically implies the first parameter should be greater than the second parameter. When second parameter is greater than the first parameter, make the second parameter first parameter and first parameter second parameter. Exchange them so that the first parameter is greater than the second parameter. Otherwise, otherwise, GCD of n second parameter comma mod of m comma n mod of m comma n. This is the uh, Euclid rule. Now, what is mod of m comma n? Mod of m comma n is m modulo n, which is the remainder obtained when m is divided by n. Okay, I think we will take some examples. Mod of 14 comma 5 is 4, because 4 is the remainder we get when 14 is divided by 5. Mod of 27 comma 6 is 3, because 3 is the remainder we get when 27 is divided by 6. Mod of 32 comma 8 is 0 because 0 is the remainder that we get when 32 is divided by 8. I think mod easily understandable, no problem at all. Now, in GCD of m comma n, if n is equal to 0, then GCD is m, simple. In GCD of m comma n, the first parameter m should be greater than n, very important. If n is greater than m, then exchange n and m by calling gcd of n comma m instead of gcd of m comma n because the first parameter should be greater than the second parameter otherwise gcd of m comma n calls gcd of n comma m mod n that is mod of m comma n now let us find the gcd of two numbers we know the euclid's rule if n is equal to 0 m is the gcd if n is greater than m, it is GCD of n comma m. Otherwise, it is GCD of n comma mod of m comma n. This is the Euclid's rule. Let us take the example number 1. GCD of 34 comma 14. Just observe, in GCD of 34 comma 14, the second parameter 14, is it equal to 0? The second parameter, is it equal to 0? No. And 34 is greater than 14. Therefore, we should call GCD of 14 comma 34 mod 14. What is 34 mod 14? 6. Therefore, this will be GCD of 14 comma 6. In GCD of 14 comma 6, the second parameter 6 is it equal to 0? No. And 14 is greater than 6. Therefore, this should call GCD of 6 comma 14 mod 6. What is 14 mod 6? 2. Therefore, this will call GCD of 6 comma 2. In GCD of 6 comma 2, the second parameter is it equal to 0? No. And 6 is greater than 2. Therefore, this should in turn call GCD of 2 comma 6 mod 2. What is 6 mod 2? 0. Therefore, this will be GCD of 2 comma 0. In GCD of 2 comma 0, the second parameter is it equal to 0? Yes. Now, the second parameter is equal to 0. When second parameter m is equal to 0, the first parameter m is the GCD. That is 2 is the GCD. Yes, 2 is the GCD. Therefore, GCD of 34 and 14 is 2. 
simple let us take one more example gcd of 57 comma 93 you can just observe here 57 is smaller than 93 therefore the exchange call gcd of 93 comma 57 now 93 is bigger than 57 now in gcd of 93 comma 57 the second parameter is it equal to 0 no and 93 is greater than 57 therefore this will call gcd of 57 comma 93 mod 57 what is 93 mod 57 36 so in gcd of 57 comma 36 the second parameter is it equal to 0 no and 57 is greater than 36 therefore this will in turn call gcd of 36 comma 57 mod 36 what is 57 mod 36 21 so in gcd of 36 comma 21 the second parameter is it equal to 0 no and 36 is greater than 21 therefore this in turn will call gcd of 21 comma 36 mod 21 what is 36 mod 21 15 in gcd of 21 comma 15 the second parameter is it equal to 0 no and 21 is greater than 15 therefore this in turn will call gcd of 15 comma 21 mod 15 what is 21 mod 15 6 in gcd of 15 comma 6 the second parameter is it equal to 0 no and 15 is greater than 6 therefore this in turn will call gcd of 6 comma 15 mod 6 what is 15 mod 6 3 now in gcd of 6 comma 3 the second parameter is it equal to 0 no and 6 is greater than 3 therefore this in turn will call gcd of 3 comma 6 mod 3 what is 6 mod 3 0 now in gcd of 3 comma 0 the second parameter is it equal to 0 yes the second parameter n is equal to 0 when second parameter n is equal to 0 the first parameter m is the gcd therefore 3 is the gcd therefore gcd of 57 and 93 is 3 i think with these two examples uh, you know how to find the gcd using the euclid's rule now let us consider the program and this is the euclid's rule n is equal to 0 m is the gcd n is greater than m you should call gcd of n comma m otherwise gcd of n comma mod of m comma n so let us consider the program to find the gcd of two numbers simple this is the gcd function gcd of m comma n if n is equal to 0 return m if n is greater than m return gcd of n comma m yes otherwise return gcd of n comma m modulo n that's all the uh, gcd recursive function i tell you recursive functions are always small and cute and main program simple enter two numbers a and b gcd of a and b will be there in c print c that's all i think if you remember euclid's rule the uh, operation of finding the gcd of two numbers using recursion and the recursive function gcd will be quite simple and straightforward